Hey my lovies, what is going on? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you guys for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Welcome to all my newcomers. This is Empress Neek. And I thank you guys for allowing me to pour into your lives and to shine some light on your path, bringing you some love and encouragement, touching and agreeing with you on some areas, and letting you know what messages, spirit, the divine, holy spirit, holy angels, your ancestors, and guides give me to give to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in, y'all. I feel a lot of healing energy, a lot of positive energy around, a lot of high vibration. So I really want to tap into that. Um, I definitely want to see how I can help you on your path. We're always going through something. You never can get enough encouragement. So before we tap into the tarot, we're going to do some oracle cards to see what it is that you could be working on on your path and see if we can get some inspiration or some motivation and encouragement for you guys today. So let's tap into this deck that we haven't tapped in for a little while and see what might be going on in your current situation or what might be on your mind and what you can work on at this time. Now, what, this is for whatever you need healing. It could be relationships that you want to heal. It could be you want to change your mindset. It could be your inner child. But whatever it is, my loves, we're going to see. Let's tap into the energy and see what comes out for you today. The energy that I feel is very serene, okay? And I want to bring that to you this morning. Let's finish out the week strong. <laughs> it's Thursday. Happy Thursday, my loves. All right, so we got intuition mirror be mindful of what you put out you get back and reclaiming your power all right so we talking about using your intuition today talking about mirroring um the world is a mirror what you give out is what you put back so let's get back so this is i'm um, telling you to be mindful of your actions your thoughts your deeds okay um hate begets hate kindness begets kindness love begets love so on and so forth all right, so this is talking about you, um, the world being a mirror and you being mindful of how you're moving on a daily basis and also with your thoughts. See, people think if I didn't do this active, talking about actions, if I didn't act actively hit you, then I didn't abuse you. And that's a lie because there's verbal abuse, there's mental abuse and so on and so forth, emotional abuse, you know, so that's not really true it's really um about being careful with what you say what you do and how you're thinking because it could also affect you just as well as it can affect the people around you and somebody who you're directing it to see the tricky thing about karma that people don't realize is you could get your karma back years down the line and when you get your karma back it don't always come to you sometimes it can hit your bloodline it could go directly to your children and i'm sure you guys have seen that to be true in some form of fashion even if it's you observing somebody else so this lesson or message is telling you about being mindful about what you put out because you surely will get it back karma doesn't have a respective person this is also telling you about reclaiming your power believing in your gifts believing in yourself believing in your willpower having strength um practicing practicing um healing that victim mentality and taking accountability wow y'all see i knew i should have pulled out these cards all right the overall energy, underlying energy, something else that could really, really help you. This is what the divine wants to see you do more of. Practicing self-love, okay? Um, it says self-acceptance, accepting who you are inside and out and working on the things that you don't like, okay? Building yourself up to be what you aspire to be or what you admire in others, right? This is talking about self-care, being caring and having compassion, giving yourself grace, um, bearing humility and really looking deeper into what it is that you dislike about yourself or asking yourself why you dislike certain things about others so whatever part of that that you see in yourself um you'll change all right this is also talking about being at a point where you're vulnerable um practicing vulnerability it's not always a bad thing and access it is but you know just being able to be vulnerable empathetic understanding and loving welcoming and nurturing that is good. That helps you. That's practicing gratitude. You know, it's a true thing where they say you can tell how you feel about yourself by the way you treat others. That is so true. And I'm not saying everything is going to feel perfect every day. You're going to have some wonderful, amazing days. Sometimes it's going to be challenging. Sometimes looking in the mirror can be painful. You know, when you dissecting yourself and pulling apart the things that you really need to change, that doesn't always feel good. 
All right, let's see what Spirit wants you to do regarding your intuition, mirroring your energy. And let me read this mirror card to you. It says, the world is a mirror. It says, the world is a mirror. Notice patterns, clear blockages. All right, so notice patterns as well. And why does it want you to notice patterns? Because you'll see your part that you play in making something play back over and over and over again. Different people, different times, but the same type of energy, same situation. It's a reason for that, right? The universe is trying to get you to tap in. So let's take a look, okay? And with this intuition card, it's saying intuition versus fear. Use your intuition to see you through these situations that may make you fearful and pull back. Use your discernment, your intuition. That's a gift from the divine to you. This is telling you to connect to the soul in order to open your crown chakra so your intuition can work better. All right, your crown chakra connects you to the divine energy of the 5D, God, Holy Spirit, uh, the universe, and things of that nature. All right, don't be afraid to do your research if these are things that you don't really know about because you're just starting your spiritual journey. It will teach you a lot about who you truly are inside and out, okay? Um, this is talking about self and source like i was saying connected to the divine all right y'all let's dive in deeper honey deeper deeper see what else holy spirit holy angels ancestors and gods thank you for using me as a vessel of love light and positive energy for the virgos and all who are drawn to my channel thank you so so much for bonding and blocking any negativity any principalities of darkness wickedness in high places any type of altar set up for our demise we ask you to burn them by fire thank you for tearing down every stronghold blocking every boundary every not blocking every boundary but blocking every blockage blocking every roadblock removing every roadblock blocking any spiritual attacks that may be sent our way and block any negative energy that's trying to come up against my throat chakra blocking this message from coming out I thank you for your divine light and um, your divine realm of protection that you place around each and every one of us. Thank you so much for victory in every situation that we may face. Everything we touch, be blessed. Everywhere we step, be blessed. Thank you so, so much for abundance and overflow and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Blind every evil eye and block every monitoring spirit familiar and unfamiliar spirit that may, may be trying to report back to negative forces. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, y'all. I'm sending you peace, love, and light as always. You already know the vibes and your girl got to get a prayer in for her people. Yes, I will, but it's important that you learn how to pray for yourself. Let's see. I would have the deck. I got the deck upside down. All right, y'all. Okay, so... What spirit wants you to do regarding these cards, this spiritual portion of your reading spirit is telling you to step up and lead Capricorn energy. This could have something to do with the Capricorn or you're tapping where, but really we're tapping into the Capricorn energy when it's talking about stepping up and leading Capricorn are front liners in every aspect of the word. They are not afraid to take charge. And if they don't know how they learn how very quickly, they're very intelligent, very analytical, and they are not afraid of stepping up and making the tough decisions that need to be made all right this is the energy that the divine wants you to tap into my lovies all right then we have release your blockages somebody has some blockages having to do with the scorpio perhaps release your blocks all right this is talking about you whatever it is that you're holding on to that's self-limiting and holding you back release it all right this has everything to do with your growth and and supporting this new and improved you all right everything that you're doing to change yourself everything you're doing to elevate and go up the ladder one step more this is helping encourage that all right so it's important that you don't try to take a bag of junk with you that you don't need and what's in the bag of junk fear um blame doubt envy hatred unforgiveness negative thinking yeah, I don't need to go on. Y'all know what bag I'm talking about, okay? Spirit wants you to leave that bag before you fall down the ladder, okay? If you know what I mean. If you're dropping these burdens and leaving the baggage behind, type I'm leaving the baggage behind, all right? Or left, or I already left the baggage behind. Consider it done. You can type all of that in the comments and I'm going to touch and agree with you because we when one or two agree, so it is, okay? So it shall be. So I, I'm a firm believer in manifestation. We are the magician. I am a Virgo, September the 2nd. And this is what we do, okay? This is what we do. I don't even get into the 
August Virgo, September Virgo thing because we all are gifted in our own special ways and it just is what it is. We're a vibrant bunch of people that thrive and that's what it's going to be, okay? We can argue about who's the greatest all day long, but truth is we all are amazing, all right? Especially when we come together. So let's get into it. Unleash your kind of self. Again, Capricorn. Capricorns are kind of sweet. They are. They're not very emotional all the time, but they're very kind-hearted people. All right. They're very giving. All right. And to the point where they have to learn tough exterior so they can protect themselves. So this is telling you to take a page out of Cap Capricorn's book. Take the front line. Also, unleash your kind of self. Don't put yourself in the back and shy out in the background. Step up and lead. It's some position that's waiting for you to step up and lead or step into it. And you're doubting yourself. So it's a need for you to really look within, see what you can do and go for it. See what you want to do and go for it. All right. Your inner child is wanting you to take chances. I'm getting that. Find a balance. Full moon in Libra. So you could have a lot of things going on, y'all. And this has everything to do with you reclaiming your power and using your intuition. You can have a lot of things going on. All right. And it's important for you to have a healthy balance. Balance. So you can be healthy mentally. All right, all of these things work together. So whatever it is, whatever the clutter is, and I know about that organized clutter pile, let's clean it up, okay? <laughs> It'll give you more leeway to think clearly and do some of the things that you want to do. You'll be surprised how less tired you feel, how more energetic and motivated you feel after you get some things into perspective. For some of you, it's that mental file cabinet that looks a mess. It's big like a library, but when it's clouded and cluttered, it's a mess, all right? It looks like a messy closet or something. So Spirit wants you to clear the clutter out, find a healthy balance so things won't get too overwhelming for you because you everything that you have going on, you can handle it. You're more than capable, right? So it's just all about finding that healthy balance. Somebody is saying, she is all up on my block. Get out of my business. Listen, I'm here to help, okay? I'm here to help. Thank you guys for your love and supporting your like, shares, and subscribes as always. I love you guys so much. Everybody who's been compelled to join this channel, thank you guys. All my members, shout out to you. And everybody who stays to the end of my videos, y'all, it's a blessing all throughout my videos. So if you can play it in the background or watch, um, play these videos, y'all. Play these videos all the way through, honey. All right, let's see. Somebody is working on themselves to the point where they want to be a helpmate. They want to be a healer. They want to do more for the universe, the community, people. They know that they're gifted and they have this special gift and they want to use it to their um, to their full capacity. All right, well, become a source of light is here. It says you are a natural healer. Born to bring through new healing methods to whatever areas you choose to work in. This is your confirmation that you are. You wondered about it. You feel it. You are. So use it. All right. You can be a counselor. You could be a doctor. You could be anything. A probation officer. Some people really, really need help in those areas. Um, it's the sky's the limit. All right. You could be a teacher. The little babies could use some fresh seeds planted to help them on their path. Just think about it. Ways that you can use your gifts. Some of you want to be readers. You could be a motivational speaker. Whatever it is, sky's the limit. It's nothing you can't do. All right. Hidden treasure. The treasure you're looking for is hidden in the ground you're standing on. It's time to dig deeper. So you're already doing something, right? And you're already, it's like playing hot or cold and you're very, very warm. All right, you're very, very warm. You're almost there. It's something that you need to see or you might be missing. It's like you're on the right path. If you just lean left, lean right just a little bit. All right, it's something like that. It's something where you're you're in the right position or you're in the right um. You can have the right idea about the job that you're supposed to be doing, but maybe you need to go a step further or maybe you need to switch something up just a little bit. It's something like that where you're 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 warm, you're headed in the right direction. Even if this is love, you got the right type of person in mind, but it's not they don't quite do this or that or whatever the case may be. I can't think of the perfect analogy for that, but you get what I'm saying. It's like you're almost there with this hidden treasure. 
You're right there, but it's something that you need to do to tap in a little bit deeper. And build bridges, not walls. This has something to do with releasing your kindest self. Now, it's okay to have um, boundaries set, firm boundaries set. It's okay to have a tough exterior to protect yourself, all right? But this is telling you to build bridges, not walls. Maybe you need to lighten up just a little bit. Maybe you need to let your guard down just a, just a tad so you can let in good things, good people, and build these thriving relationships. Because if anybody is good and they have a lot to offer, they're kind of staying off when it comes to people who are too guarded because they've already passed that test. They already know about being too guarded and having all these things on your mind, having these perceived notions about people and things like that. So just be mindful of that, my love. You can protect yourself without being completely shut off um, to energies that really would do you well, okay? Be careful how you treat the people that you truly care about as well, okay? This is what I'm getting for you. So it's okay. Build bridges, not walls, right? connect instead of shutting people out that could really help you thrive all right one of the affirmations i say is my destiny is connected to great successful people all right so if i'm closed off and if i'm negative i'm never going to be able to let those people in right so this is what they're talking about about building bridges not walls just be mindful of who you're sharing your time energy and gifts with let's get into the tarot portion let's get into the tarot portion of this reading we're going to use my tarot deck today and let's see what comes out all right today i'm going to clear the cards i'm going to put them over here to the side let's clean it up a little bit so let's put these over here i'm gonna put these over here so we can remember what cards we had so we can reference because all of this is going to tie together put these over here and I'll leave these here so we got find a balance unleash your kind of self and all that good stuff all right let's tap in and see what messages spirit has for you today we got intuition mirror and reclaim your power let's see what you need to know if you want this deck or the Love and War deck, you can get it off of our website. Thank you to everybody who has already purchased your deck. It made me so happy to have those purchases. Um, I love that you support the projects that I'm doing. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show us clear messages. What do we need to know at this time? What does Virgo need to know at this time? about the energy on the board which is my Virgo collective needs to know seven of wands so we got the seven of wands energy here and the card the picture on the card is showing you fighting a battle it's showing you fighting off the competition it's showing you standing your ground all right this is talking about you being kind of defensive it's like somebody has had to fight like you've had to fight for what you believe in. You had to fight to protect the things that you've established. You had to fight for yourself and stand up for yourself. Fighting off people who are thinking about you negatively and all of those things. Well, this is talking about um, the advantage, all right? Having the advantage in a situation. And this could be all about how you're dealing with something. This is talking about you standing up for your beliefs and being very strong-willed. This is reminding you to remain assertive and resisting attack. All right, so this is telling you to continue to stand up for yourself, but build bridges, not walls, okay? So you can stand up for yourself, you can defend yourself, but don't be, don't do it to the point where you're running good people away or good opportunities away. But do stand up for where you, what you believe in. Right now, you could be in a position where you're feeling like you have to defend yourself or stand up for something. Show me more about this. What else does Virgo need to know for their highest good? What does Virgo need to know right now? What do my Virgos need to know? Nine of Swords energy. So you could be having a bit of anxiety. Whatever this situation is that you're dealing with could be a bit stressful. Um, but you still have to stand your ground. You're very assertive in a situation. All right. Something that's been bringing you stress or it could make you feel kind of isolated. Like it's something that you're isolating yourself from. I feel like you're really avoiding fighting with somebody or avoiding a battle. You could feel like somebody and you don't see eye to eye with the five of cups this could have something to do with some type of trauma some type of loss some type of unwelcome change right and it's it's like you're standing your ground and you're fighting for that and you could actually be overthinking something or something has you in a point where 
You don't want to be stressed about it, but you're not happy about the things that have been changing. With the Five of Cups, it could be somebody even feeling this way towards you, Virgo, where it feels like they spilled out all the cups. We got this King of Swords energy, somebody feeling trapped or some type of temporary pause. Somebody could feel like they're waiting or sitting on the fence about something. Let's see what this is. With the King of Swords, it looks like somebody cut something out or you had to cut something out. Show me more. What's the Seven of Wands here? With the Seven of Cups, uncertainty, somebody could have options and they're standing your ground about having, somebody's having, standing their ground when it comes to illusions, fake people, or picking and choosing. And then we got the King of Wands here. Somebody could be stressful. You could be stressed out. All right, so somebody is stressful. Somebody, this situation dealing with a person this could be talking about a fire sign, but the situation is stressful. Um, and something is giving you kind of anxiety and putting you in the energy of not being happy with the nine of swords energy. You could not be, you could, you could feel like you're unhappy about the changes that has happened between you and somebody else. It's something here that you really wanted to work. Um, you really wanted this to work. And this could have something to do with somebody charming, somebody who is a natural leader, a father figure, a boss, somebody that's not afraid to take control. Um, this could also be telling me that after this situation that you've been dealing with, um, and somebody with somebody who feels like they spilled the cup, so you feel like you could have um, ruined anything or you're going through a loss. Um, this could be you taking charge after a time of you overthinking things and feeling stressed out. Um, this is you reclaiming your power. This is why that card came out. And as far as you're using your intuition to stand your ground on what you believe in, you're using your intuition to see through these. I feel like it's somebody here that could be making you stuck in your head with these illusions. Something is not what it seems. Why the Five of Cups? Yeah, it's something here. A natural leader with the Knight of Cups energy, um, warmth. Somebody could be romantic. Somebody could be giving you some type of romantic offer. It's somebody here that kind of feels like they messed something up with you. And they feel like they, somebody here, I feel like they're in their head. Somebody's uncertain or they're not really sure. It's something here that somebody wasn't sure of. Virgo, this energy is coming toward you. So spirit, spirit is telling you to use your intuition Build bridges, not walls. So it's something here where somebody could have been coming towards you, all right? And you could feel like, you could have felt at one time like open to this person and receiving them. But now you're a bit guarded. Um, and somebody is in their head about that. They could feel that you're guarded toward them a bit. They feel like you cleared them out, made an intellectual decision. Somebody feels like you have a lot of self-discipline um, and you're being rational about the situation. Um, but still, they don't like it. They're in this Five of Cups energy. The Knight of Cups is in the Five of Cups energy. So whoever this is coming towards you with an offer or they previously offered you something, it just feels like they're mirroring your energy and someone is insincere. And I feel like this is what you see here. And this could be work, love, or life. But whoever this is that's coming towards you with this shady, shaky kind of energy, this in and out type of energy, you're not feeling that. And so I feel like King of Swords energy, you, you flip the script. Whoever I'm talking to is a divine feminine or a divine masculine because you can move through all of the suits. You could be the King of Swords and then switch over to the Queen of Cups. So whoever this is, <laughs> you've learned a lot of lessons and you're in this elevated energy where you know exactly what to do and how to behave with whatever situation. So for somebody here, because you see this person not sure about what they wanted, somebody who is feeling like they failed or they didn't show up and show out when they had the chance. Somebody didn't prove to you that how interested they were in you or they didn't value you when they had the chance. Although this person is still wishing for you and they still want this opportunity, they're still feeling deep down inside like they spoiled something, like they spilled all the cups out. Somebody's feeling in despair or they're feeling lost. Um, somebody could feel like their life is unstable right now, so they really can't offer much. With this um, romantic offer and warmth, attractive, somebody feels like you're attractive. 
And this person could be very attractive and they're warm and charming. This is a fire sign that I'm seeing here. Um, but they feel like you cleared them out. Show me the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? With the Seven of Wands, somebody feels like you're defensive and guarded. You're very guarded. This makes this person kind of insecure when it comes to coming towards you. Um, this could even be you being kind of unwelcoming at work. <laughs> With the Five of Pentacles left out, homeless, struggle, financial, hardship, losing faith. Wow. Let's see. So this person feels like you cleared them out and left them out in the cold because this also is talking about somebody feeling left out in the cold. Um, somebody could have came off kind of charming. This could even be somebody at your workplace. Um, but it looks like you are not giving somebody what they need. Um, with this temporary pause, pause with the moon here, there's some type of illusion or some type of secret. What's the secret? What's the secret here? What's this person holding behind, holding them? What does Virgo need to know about this secret? Oh, wow. Okay, so somebody sees you as top notch. The star and the knight of pentacles, whoever this is, this could be, um, this could be male or female energy, all right? But they see you guys as very attractive, very desirable. Somebody here looks good. Male or female, you look so good. If you're a female, they see you as the brightest star, like you stand out among the rest. Um, they like that you take care of yourself. Um, you're, you're kind of classy, not trashy, even when you look sexy for my males, they find you fine, attractive. They see you as strong, dedicated. Somebody just sees you as the full package. You really, somebody really likes you a lot and this is what they're hiding. So they're not really telling you that they see you as the prize. They see you as a bright, amazing opportunity. Um, the star also talks about healing and hope, having hope for a situation. So somebody is kind of hopeful that they can reverse whatever this energy is that you feel toward them. But I feel like you left them out in the cold. You kind of cut them off. Show me the king of swords and the five of um, the five of pentacles left out. Yeah, somebody feels like their hands are tied. You shut the door on them, kind of left them out in the cold. <laughs> Show me more about the knight of cups. Yeah, I told you with the five of cups, they're feeling like they spoiled everything with the knight of cups. Here's an offer or somebody being charming and flirting with you. Somebody wants this new beginning. And I feel like, again, you're dealing with the fire sign. So whoever this is, you're being told to use your intuition in this situation. Um, also, for those of you, a hidden treasure, this person can be somewhat of a hidden treasure. Or you see this person as a bright opportunity. It's like this person is not like everybody else. Or they see you as a hidden treasure. All right? Become a source of light and build bridges, not walls. Somebody is saying, if you really want... So Spirit is saying, if you really want this opportunity, open up, be more welcoming, um, and be and be kind. Because this person really likes you. All right? They feel like you have your guards up. But they see... A future somebody sees expansion or opportunity for growth here so somebody is not it's like you can't get away get away from me that easy somebody is not giving up hope here all right so this is what i see here and somebody can have some type of sexual desire for you but with the strength they're having self-control somebody feels so it's like this person has limitations when it comes to being bold and brave and really believing in themselves with the devil and the strength. I feel like it's a struggle with their confidence or something like that. Um, they're thinking about consequences too. Um, they're struggling and they're, when it comes to making just impulsive choices and just doing whatever, um, they're having self-control. They're balancing this energy, all right? But also, self-doubt is here with the strength card. So the strength reminds somebody who is feeling weak or insecure to have strength. And I feel like this person has a lot of self-doubt and a lot of things going on. Even addictions, they could have, they could just smoke or they could have an unhealthy type of lifestyle and it doesn't match with yours or whatever the case may be. But somebody's struggling with their confidence here. When it comes to coming towards you and letting you know what they want. All right. Let's see what else you need to know for your higher good. What else? When it comes to this situation with this person, overall, what is it that Virgo needs to know? When it comes to the situation with this person, overall, what does Virgo need to know here? What does Spirit want you to know when it comes to the situation overall? What does Virgo need to know? Besides not besides be more open and inviting, 
Um, you feel like this person is um, mirroring your energy. I feel like you leaving them out in the cold kind of gave you an opportunity to reclaim your power. Because I feel like this person was abusing their power. See, this came out. Somebody wants to make it work. But they you blocked this person. I feel like you blocked this person or you're ignoring this person. But somebody wants to make it work. These just flipped out. So let's see. For Virgo's highest good, what do they need to know about this particular situation? Somebody feels like you made a judgment. Things are stagnant with the hangman energy. Somebody's trying to do some soul searching to kind of see what's going on. And this relationship is under judgment. I feel like because you already made a choice, I feel like you're, you pulled your energy back. King of Swords energy, you became cold and kind of calculated and kind of left them out. Like, just bye. <laughs> Show me the outcome. You. Yeah. Uh-oh, this flipped in reverse. Oh, so you're going to let your guards down. So, okay, you're not going to be so guarded. Um, It looks like you're letting your guards down a little bit, not being so guarded when it comes to this person. Um, You could be flirtatious or willing to see what happens, all right? But with the Nine of Wands, yeah, with the Wounded Warrior, maybe you're feeling more healed and more ready. Um, Look, and you're willing to see, meet this person halfway. So whoever this is, it's like you're willing to give them another chance. But be careful because this is why you were guarded. See, that's you second guessing how you felt about them. You just be careful because this person is kind of immature when it comes to passion. They're still learning. Even though they're a king of wands, they're still in this kind of immature energy. This person could be a little bit childish or maybe nurtured. This person could live with their parents or whatever this is. But um, somebody has a little bit more growing to do. And I feel like you felt that. Wow. Then somebody is passionate they think about being in a relationship somebody could be spiritually balanced but look the hermit is shining a light on something somebody wants to reconcile somebody wants to go on a date look at this reconciliation let's see uh-huh okay we got the king and queen of pentacles so listen virgo this is how you feel um with the queen from the king this is who you are this is what they see you as and the queen going back to the queen you could be chilling not doing anything just letting it come to you that's the perfect energy to be in this is what spirit is suggesting that you do go with the flow but don't be too closed off be kind all right it's like a hidden treasure or something it's some type of good energy here with this person that you don't quite see yet all right i love you guys so so much thank you guys for being here with me I appreciate your love, support, and your pro um your positive energy. Um, all is temporary. I almost said privacy, so be mindful about your privacy. All is temporary. It's okay not to feel your best. Like the moon, we go through phases. Give yourself time to get your groove back. This too will pass. So give yourself a chance, okay? Give yourself some time. You don't have to rush it. But don't be so closed off that you're not open to these beautiful energies that's coming towards you. I love you guys. Thanks for being here with me. And I will see you guys on the next video.